Um, very impressive. Uh, it's certainly a silver lining for tonight. Obviously, it never feels good to lose a ball game, but I think the big takeaway is we've got Yoshinobu back. Um, he was very good tonight, and it's something for us to build on. Uh, I'm just frustrated that we couldn't finish the game and finish the way we did tonight. But yeah, clearly. Uh, the fastball command, uh, the breaking ball, the split, everything was uh, on point tonight and uh, really exciting. Were you really expecting, or was there anything in particular you were expecting from him or was it just, you know, a mystery? You might get a night like this, you might get something less. Uh, yeah, I, I think speaking honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I, I knew that he was going to go out there and compete. Um, but I think, you know, guys like Yoshinobu know that, you know, pitching first country and knowing that there's four Japanese players on the field, that there's a lot of attention in this game. I think that heightened the focus for him. I really do. And um, he really showed out. But I didn't know if there was going to be rust or how he was going to command the baseball, but uh, he passed with flying colors. Was, it about, was that about the limit in terms of pitches? Yeah, that was it. He, he, it couldn't have been a better outcome for us. Just between start the steps that Tyler's taking this week, just how different, how much more positively are you feeling about the state of the rotation right now? Much better. I, I feel much better about the rotation tonight than I did 24 hours ago. And, um, you know, on the heels of Tyler's bullpen and knowing that he's going to pitch on Friday in a simulated game, multiple innings. So it's, it's starting to turn as far as kind of getting back to the uh, rotation that we had envisioned. As far as like the eighth inning, just kind of how you explain it that is just the lack of focus on, on a couple of those plays? Um, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, things that happened tonight that led to us not winning a baseball game. Uh, getting picked off at first base, I think, changed the momentum. Uh, you know, not being able to make a play. You know, Austin threw the ball wide. Um, you know, the play that Kike was kind of a bang-bang tweener but turned into an error. The ball that got by Muncie uh, somehow that turned into some more runs. It was just very uncharacteristic. Uh, led to a lot of pitches for Evan, and um, it was just a different team that I didn't really recognize in that eighth inning. Um, you know, for seven innings, I thought we played fantastic baseball. Um, had the pitching lined up, and you know, the four-pitch walk to happen to start the inning from Alex was uncharacteristic. So, you know. That, 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 these are things that just can't happen. Yeah, I don't think we need to address them after the game or? No, no, I, I think that, um, you know, we'll have conversations um, with our guys. Um, it, it's stuff that really hasn't happened. Unfortunately, it seemed like it all happened tonight. Um, but I think all those things led to changing of momentum and cost us outs, bases, and ultimately the game. Um, I haven't seen the replay. Um, it, Miggy made a, uh, the right play as far as trying to keep that runner at first base, um, pretending that he was going to have it. We call it a deke. And I just don't know if Max was in the right position, to be quite honest. And then the ball got by him. But that's a play that shouldn't get past the third base. Would someone be backing up on that play as well? Evan was behind backing up home. So he didn't know where the ball was going to go. So he was kind of in between, but it, that wasn't his fault. And the day before the game, you placed Anthony Bonda on the aisle with a left-hand <clears throat> fracture. Any more on that? Yeah, um, it's a hairline fracture, fortunately. Uh, unfortunately, it's just throwing hand. And uh, I, I don't know, you know when he's going to return, but obviously it's an IL situation. And it's going to be... Uh, you know, a few days to, I think it's a few days without throwing and then hopefully we can build him back and, you know, the hope is to get him back at some point in time this year. How did that happen? Um, it was a, a moment of weakness and frustration where he decided to uh, take on a solid object that ultimately won the battle. So it was something that emotions kind of played into it. You know, with the outing that he had last night, and it's something I know he regrets. We all regret, and uh, he'll learn from it. Did it happen last night? It did.
was what was a solid object? I I don't know. What was what's next for Yamamoto? Uh, Yamamoto is going to pitch uh, on uh, Monday. I think it is. I think it's Monday. And what did you see? What will his pitch count be? Um, I think it's five and seventy-five, something like that. You know, it's my guess, depending on how each inning goes. But yeah, I think five and seventy-five is fair. Did you see from Bruce and did he come out of it okay? He came out of it fine. Um, I think that certainly looking at the quality of contact that he was giving up, he's not sharp, nor should he be. Um, I think it was a softer landing given the leverage of the game. Um, he was throwing strikes, but I think that you know the slider uh, gave up some hard hits with that. Um, the sinker just wasn't as consistent, but that's part of it. Um, we've got time to kind of Sharpen things up with Bruce Hart, but yeah, he came out of it healthy. How did you see it, uh, Imanaga? Uh, Imanaga was, was good. Um, I thought we did a good job with him. Uh, hit some homers off him. Um, he competed, um, he was efficient, uh, got into the seventh inning, and um, yeah, I mean, I thought we just still did a good job with him, but it was a, it was a good matchup. You know, how close was Yellow up tonight to what you saw from him at Yankee Stadium? It was um, very similar. Uh, I don't think he used a slider um, like he did at Yankee Stadium, but as far as fastball, curveball, split, very similar. Is this kind of more like the guy that you guys thought you were getting when you signed? Yeah, yeah, this was, this was uh, I mean, we'll, we'll take this uh, every start going forward. Fastball command, both sides of the plate, um, hits the low dart, the split down below that, stealing a strike with the breaking ball. Um, yeah, it was just really efficient. Uh, yeah, uh, it was it was really good. I'm watching the game from the you know, he's obviously watching the game from the bench now for the last few months. Do you think that gave him any kind of different perspective, maybe? That I think um, I, I think with Yoshinobu, he's very aware of where we're at and the value that he brings to our ball club. So I really like the focus um, from him and uh, there's a sense of urgency and he realizes that, you know, he's got three more starts now uh, to be as finely tuned as he can possibly be and build up. So um, that's something that I feel really confident with and that's the maturity that he has because he's pitching a lot of big ball games uh, throughout his career as well. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.